journey to get this. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> Let me take off the skin. The journey to get this. <laughs> Beta, gold founders pack, early access. That's pretty much my status when I started this game. <laughs> it all starts on this island right here. Black Fang Den is on the right of Lutera. And you can go talk to this guy over here. Right, you see the astray right here. And then needs these five items. The blueprint, the manual, the certificate, some lumber or timber, and ship part materials. For the construction blueprint, uh, we can click Alt J, open up the Unitas, and if you actually go to reputation status here, I already typed it in, um, and then you can click search, it'll show up this, right? You can click on this magnifying glass, and this is the one that you want to do right here. She drifts sea gifts. <laughs> and that gives you this if you finish reputation level three, which is like the max. And it actually evolves sailing co-op. So I don't really like doing co-op. It takes a long or it takes a while for me to do. Longer than my I guess attention span keeps me going. So what I did just do it once, right? Uh, it evolved treasure scavenging. So I did it once, and then after I'm done, I just pretty much just equip it, and then I just auto complete it with crystal or tickets. Uh, tickets are from the event, so don't mind that. I usually use with the crystals that I got from the Gold Founders Pack. So, or you can buy it with gold. Right now, there's actually an event going on, right? That actually encounters every like 15 to 20 minutes. So this is what you need for the Certificate of Pirate, right? So it's another daily task. If you go here, I believe you go certificate of pirate. All right, click this. You go pest control, and pest control actually requires you to kill one of the pirate bosses that show up, or kill five pirates. And it actually has two quests back to back. So if you somehow miss that boss, it usually just spawns here. So what I usually do is I just wait here. Uh, I maybe do AFK, do some work, do some other gacha games like Cookie Run. Kingdom, I played that by the way. And then um, the boss usually spawns here. Just hit the boss once and I'm pretty good. And then you you just turn in. I just do that every day. Every day. Next big thing is that you need this manual. And this is one of the harder things to get. Cause, you know what? I'm just gonna go over this later. We're gonna talk about this, the timber here. So I have timber here and the uncommon ship parts material. I actually went to the market and I got like a bunch of timber. It was like only, it was 60 gold for 100 stacks. I've been doing like the secret maps and stuff with my friends. So I got, I saved a bunch of gold by selling those pouches that you get from doing them. And so I just bought a bunch of timber. I also actually went out and actually started logging in Lutera <laughs> for a while. And then I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna buy it. Bought the rest in the market, right? So if you just go to the market here, there's the sailing stuff, ship materials. You can buy it's seven now for uh, each one. When I bought it, I think it was cheaper. It was probably like six. <laughs> and then also, I believe logging loot right here. You can get timber. Oh, it's fifty-four now instead of sixty. Damn, it went down. <laughs> All right, now we're going back to the manual. Right, the manual is if you talk to the NPC that I'm standing pretty much in front of me right now. She actually sells it right here. I bought it already. It doesn't show up anymore. Um, I would think it would show up like like this, but I guess not. <laughs> but it cost 300,000 pirate coins, okay? And that took a while. But thanks to the event that's happening, that like, it's like the Mario Kart thing, you actually get those chests. I don't have on this character, but um, <laughs> you get a chest for, for the event that gives you 500 like sun coins. So I just go to and I converted it, okay, into pirate coins. And then I came here, I switched it back to my alt and I just bought it here <laughs> cause it's shared uh, among your roster. So with that item, you actually, it is actually a quest. So you right click it, you use it, it's a quest. And then it requires you to actually get trusted rank with Black Fang in order to actually complete the quest. So now you're kind of blocked with the reporting and stuff like that. <laughs> At this point, I got to the amical level or whatever the level is before friendly. And I had 200 charisma. So I got to the point 
now that I needed 260 charisma and 260 courage. Unfortunately, that's what I was lacking, the charisma part mostly. So I needed 60 more. So I went back to all the adventure tombs and at least did all the stories in the tombs that actually give charisma. As you can see right here, any of these that did charisma, I went back and I did all of them. Like I even skipped the other ones <laughs> that I didn't need because it's just saved me time, right? So that got me about like what 25. I also did like uh, the the monkey, which is the chameleon, right? So since my item level is only like 1340, I I had only a chance to hit it. So I just went there. I pretty much leech, I guess, and got the charisma. I just want the kill, and then I got three charisma. So that got me to around 30. Okay, and you can still fight them after you done your daily field boss if you guys didn't know at this point i needed like 30 more right so i look open my my codex right here right if you open your codex by pressing od you can actually search in charisma potion so i was looking around and i was like hmm what can i do oh we got some uh, easy picking reports here that i can probably do right but the problem is i don't i'm not made of report i'm not like a super ultimate way or anything all that was the ghost founder pack right um so <laughs> I was clicking around, right? And then I found that these report packs are actually in the store. If you go to the store, load it up. There's actually these report packs. If you go to the packs, right? And they were, they were around like 240, not too bad. So I, I actually converted most of my gold into crystals using the currency exchange. And I bought a whole bunch of these. You get one legendary and three of these reports. So transparent pearl was for Ulia and then ghost photography was for Yule and I just, you know, gave him the, the favorite one that I got him to trust it. Now I need 10 more. what I do? what I do? I was looking around the market and then eventually I found a headwear for the skin that gets 15 charisma. So looking at my skin, I had a helmet that gave me five charisma. If you didn't know, Different skins actually give different stats. I did not know that. I would have picked the instrument if I knew that. Um, apparently, there's a different one. The one I have give kindness. So, there, I was like, oh, damn, that one's 15. Mine's five. That's 10 more. So, contemplating, it costs like 300, 900 gold. Isn't too bad. There are ones that are more expensive and you can only be traded less. So, I impost and I got the 900 one. Now I have 260 charisma. Back to Black Fang to get that report quest done. I don't have the luxury of getting a bunch of them of relics or legendary report items and just drop it all at once to bypass all the checkpoints. So I needed to get to 260. And then I did have a bunch, right? Not like a lot, but just enough to like get me there to trusted. So I just did it like a few at a time. So, and hope I don't get blocked, and good thing I didn't get blocked, and that was the last check. Um, and then, yeah, we have Astray now. <laughs> or oh, Astray. I keep calling it the other way. Astray is the right way to pronounce it, I believe. According to Google Translate. Astray. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go, getting Astray. Oh, crafting a legend. You can do it again. <laughs> Wait, can I, can I, I can't change my boat here though. <laughs> here we go. Let's get to Vern. The only thing that is Black Fang giving the extra speed. Oh my god. <laughs> 